HPV stands for human papillomavirus, and um, it's the virus that's contacted through sexual contact. Approximately about 75% of women and young girls are positive for that virus after their very first sexual encounter. Um, there are some high risk types of the virus, and then there are some lower risk types of the virus. The high risk types are usually associated with abnormal pap smears, and the lower risk types are usually associated with genital warts. Yes, there's still a lot that we don't know about human papillomavirus, but we do know that it's contracted through sexual contact, and both boys and girls are carriers. In some countries, um, the uh, human papillomavirus vaccine, Gardasil, is available to both young boys and young girls, but currently here in the United States, we are only administering the vaccine to young girls. The HPV vaccine um, protects um, patients against uh, some of the high risk types of the virus, 16 and 18, and then um, two of the lower risk types of the virus, 6 and 11. 6 and 18 are associated with abnormal pap smears and cervical cancer. 6 and 11 are associated with genital warts. Um, HPV is contracted through sexual contact, of course, and uh, when the virus remains latent, um, in the cells of the body. Um, the virus can cause changes in those cells that eventually lead to cervical cancer. That typical progression of time takes about 10 to 15 years between the time um, that you were first exposed to the virus and then the time that it takes to actually progress toward cancer. The only symptomatic forms of the virus are um, the lower risk types, and that would be the genital warts. Um, probably with the higher risk types that cause abnormal pap smears, the only way um, to know that you have the virus is by obtaining uh, an, an annual pap smears. The HPV vaccine is recommended for um, young women between the ages of 9 and 26 years old. Um, there are current studies in progress to um, extend um, that age from 26 and beyond, um, but currently it's not FDA approved. Um, the most current um, information suggests that um, reactions to the vaccine include um, redness and swelling at the site of the injection. There may be some muscle soreness for a few days afterwards, um, and some patients have been known to faint at the time of the injection.